Z, do you think there's any chance they bring back Jupiter's Legacy? I mean, there could be a chance if they cancel such shows as Away, V Wars, Tuca and Birdie, The Society, Daybreak, Everything Sucks, Girl Boss, The Get Down, The Irregulars, Gypsy. If they cancel all those shows, sure. Those shows were canceled a long time ago. Six weeks in. Damn it. Okay, okay. It's not like Jupiter's Legacy was the greatest thing since sliced bread. It was just different as far as superhero genre shows go, right? Uh, it was it was all right. It had it had its moments, but it wasn't like fantastic, but for Netflix to spend a bajillion dollars on Miller World and then cancel it in like <laughs> after like 4 weeks of it being out seems a little crazy. That is true. Yeah, it has only been out for about a month. Yeah, I think uh, when we go to the article, we'll see that it's actually much, much shorter than that. Uh, before we get in the article, remember, like and subscribe. It's how we grow the channel. It's also uh, helped by you sharing. So let's get into this, and we'll give you the real reason, the real truth, behind why Jupiter's legacy was, in fact, canceled. They were racist. They were not racist. Not racist. No. Oh. No. They were just... Um, well, th and this is from Business Insider, and we will <laughs> Business Insider Africa. Oh my God! We will link this article to the. We're gonna try to link it. So good luck. If you try, we're gonna send you to Africa. If you if it does if the link is broken, it's because half the internet was broken, and that's the African half. Elephants may eat you. Uh, but it's it, this is where they're going to talk about how viewer data sheds light on why Netflix ended Jupiter's, Jupiter's legacy and renewed Shadow and Bone for season two. I don't even know what Shadow and Bone is. I don't know. It keeps getting recommended to me on Netflix. Because they want you to bone. I, I, I haven't watched it. I think it's a pirate show? It's not. It's not a pirate show. Something to do with shadows and bones. Bones are on crossbones and crossbones are on pirate ship flags. And what does that have to do with shadows? I think it has to do with like witches and warlocks or something. Uh, that seems about right. Yeah. Okay. So a, a lot of this data was compiled by Nielsen, um, but what? And I I know the article is really small, but number one problem is it's a big budget show. They were saying it cost somewhere around two hundred million. So and that's just for the production. That's not even for the rights to use the Miller wor World um, properties. And when they release things. They're only showing it in the top 10 la list if someone watched it for two minutes of the show. So it survived in the top 10 of, of their of their list. Um, looks like it was only in for... like it, it, The problem is it was only the, in the top 10 for a couple weeks. So it fell short of other shows that were already on the list. So... Um, Here's where they get into the details here is they're talking about the series spent six days as the number one show on Netflix and 26 days in the top 10, according to this other like resource that they're using. Real good. Real good. But what they're saying is like the Netflix show Shadow and Bone, uh, which they did renew, was number one for 12 days and spent 35 days in the top 10. It's not a huge difference. Uh, but it is when you spend less money on the show. Oh, okay. So when you compare it from a budget perspective, then it's a better buy for them to keep going with that show than it is to, to stay with Jupiter's Legacy. Even though a season two would be cheaper in some respect because they already had contracts with the, with the, with the actors and they already had sets and everything was already built. It was all done. Uh, what they're saying is that uh, Shadow and Bone was watched for 1.2 billion minutes over its debut weekend versus uh, Jupiter's Legacy, which uh, da, 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 in comparison, I think they say up here somewhere. 696 million minutes. There you go. So like not, it did half of what that other Bone show. Yeah, when you look at the- Bone show had no competition though. I had Jupiter's Legacy. Well, no, but I mean from other streamers. Oh, well, you know what I mean? Yeah, like there's, yeah. there's nothing else to go up against, at, at least in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure that 
HBO Max had like movies and other stuff that was out against it. Yeah. Uh, so here's like another show that they were going to compare it to, which is Ginny and Georgia, another show I've never heard of, and Bridgerton, right? So Ginny and Georgia was the top show for 29 days and appeared in the top 10 for 68 days. Again, this could have been going on against nothing. And Bridgerton was the top series for 19 days and spent 71 days in the top 10. Both of them got renewed. Yeah, um, Queen Gamut was 23 days. So comparatively, Jupiter's Legacy kind of sucks. Yeah, in comparison to what they're looking for. So here's like a handy-dandy chart. Yeah, the Irregulars. Yeah, the Irregulars did not do so well. Uh, it stayed for like one day. So like Queen's Gambit was obviously, like first of all, that movie or that show cost nothing to make. They paid a relatively unknown actress, so she didn't make a lot of money. So you have all of that factored in. Then you have Bridgerton, which is a period piece, and then it probably costs a little bit. It was more also money. about a lot of sex. Was there nudity in it? Oh my god! Yeah, there was sex like I've every other scene. Never seen it. Oh my! I've Lord. never seen any of these shows other than Jupiter's Legacy, so I have no idea. Yeah, it was basically a porno. Oh my god! Oh yeah. It's a British porno? Uh-huh. That sounds boring. A lot of British dick in that show. Ooh, that's too much dick. Given those teen crimpets. Okay. Yeah. So if you compare it, like, obviously, they're going to cancel the Irregulars, and it looks like Jupiter's Legacy should have done better. I think uh, poor critic reviews didn't help it. They're saying it had 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. I, if I remember correctly, the, the audience score was about 72%. Shadow and but again, who cares? Like Netflix does care way too much what the critics think. The critics don't mean anything as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but but the audience score in comparison, Jupiter's Legacy is 72%, Shadow and Bone was 90% with the fans. Oof. But that's like, I don't know, it seems so so like oh, I don't know. It says here that uh, the 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 spin-off of Jupiter's Legacy, Super Crooks will be live action and there are anime shows i was under the impression that it was going to be anime but i was I, yeah i thought super crooks was going to be live action but i don't know why you would cancel a flagship series and then have b series under the same world going like that doesn't make any sense it doesn't make a lot of sense but if i mean this graph really does kind of illustrate what the, the funny thing is though if you think about it you know netflix kind of doesn't really have a strategy you know what i mean so think about this if you have a show like jupiter's legacy and you have a very specific audience that's looking at it the superhero fans like like i said i, I don't really watch any of these other shows but i am into jupiter's legacy and i may be the one who's paying for netflix right so now you canceled it after one season what reason do i have to invest in other shows when you may potentially just cancel them for no reason uh yeah but netflix the, like netflix's longest running show is like four or five seasons they don't keep things for a long time True, true, but most of them, the, the longer ones were canceled at, due to out of their control, like House of Cards, which no one ever talks about anymore. It's like verboten. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do I not wonder, speak of that show. I think, did it get removed from Netflix? I wonder. It got canceled. I know I don't it got canceled, it got but can you, can you watch it? I don't know. I don't know why anyone would, 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 would watch They like replace Kevin one. Spacey's face with, I don't know. I don't know. Someone. Morgan Freeman? Yes. But, like, they didn't have any idea that Queen's Gambit was going to be a big hit. And they had no, so they weren't prepared for it. So they're not even prepared to make a season two. They have no idea what to do with the character or what to do with anything. They, they don't know what to do with it. Obviously, Bridgerton, they can, I mean, I don't know, obviously, but they can continue it. Shadow and Bone, I think, is a YA property. Uh, you probably. have no idea. You have a computer in front I of you do. where you could literally just I was look too it busy up. looking at that chart. It was You're delicious. Just staring at the chart. Look oh at those, my God. those golden Shadow red. and Bones gold gray Shadow and binds. It Shadow. is a young adult fantasy novel. Of course it is. But it seems to be aimed at the uh, female persuasion. Written by an Israeli American author. Oh, that's cute. Is it though? Yeah. What about? Uh, well, I don't know. Shadow and Bones. What about Shadow and Bones? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say. It's let's scary. uh Let's look at the It's Wicca. a fantasy. No adventure. shit. Adventure. You're going to read us the whole plot there? Uh, teenage orphan grew up in Russia. Teenage orgy? Yes. Uh, no, that's about the... That's not the plot, is it? That's the book, yeah. Unexpectedly harnessing a power she never knew. So it's like a super... Superhero for chicks. Yeah. That's cool. It's a trilogy. No, okay. Well, that means they're going to have multiple seasons then, I guess. I don't know. And then what is Ginny in Georgia? I, I'm not looking that shit up. <laughs> you were... <laughs> you it's refused. probably about women scissoring that are gingers. What about the irregulars? 
I'm pretty nope. sure we had someone reviewed that, and, and then, that's and why then it, got it canceled. immediately got canceled. That is why they got canceled. Uh, Bridgerton is getting a season it, two. It's about sex. It's about it's about British sex. Queen's Gambit is about a really space-eyed girl being really good at chess. Big-eyed girl. No, like her eyes are just spaced apart. No, I thought they were just big. They are very big. She has very big eyes. She can yeah. see like all the way around the world. That's how can that's how she can do the Queen's Gambit. Well, she's gambiting. Fun and fact: the Queen's Gambit was the name of all our Queen, uh, all of our Queen's father's ship that sank. C- congratulations just saying. on that. Hey. Do you even know what the Queen's Gambit is? Yeah. What is it? It's um. The Queen's uh, car in England. It is not. It's, it is a chess move. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Do you know, even know what Queen's Gambit is about? Well, no, hold on. The it's about a, chess is about the king. No, it's about the queen. The queen is the most powerful character. Or no, the that doesn't powerful. make sense. She's not a man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so useless. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, again, like, subscribe, catch our live stream on 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights, and our full-length podcast, which we record, and that's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and all those other fun places, as well as, um, I don't know, catch our next video. Yeah, because we have more videos than Jupiter's Legacy has episodes. Oh, we're going to keep going. No one can cancel us. <laughs> You're embarrassing us. On to the next one. Ah.